you know, we weren't designed to talk about this, but maybe this is what we're supposed to talk about because if that's, that's right. what comes natural to us, so that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. Because one of the things about the group was they only really have that one meeting every year in February in Tulum, but then every month they have some place to go and maybe just a handful of guys go like y'all came yeah. down to, excuse me, y'all came down to the Frio River one time close to my house before I was a member. That and was you invited fun. me down there. There's like eight or nine or 10 people. And I got a small taste of the kind of people that were going to be in this you know, room. I was pretty much sold before I went, but after I went. And so every Good. month there's people having things to do. Like I want to have, I can't have all 50 people, but I could have 10. Oh, people Mitch, that would, be so, that would be so fun. You should do at that. My ranch or something, you know, if yeah. anyone wants to do so that. So this is crazy. I just got back in town last night from Omaha, Nebraska. Now it, you obviously know I'm, I'm out of St. Louis, but the listeners and the viewers, they may not. So I'm located out of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm a Midwest guy. But there's two guys in the group, in the Multipliers Mastermind that live in Omaha, and they are having a conference Monday and Tuesday. Today's Tuesday here. First day, Monday was all about investors and investing, and, and their audience was really just a bunch of real estate agents that kind of wanted to make the pivot from being an agent to an investor. And they invited me up. And I got to go and present with Clint and got to visit with Jeff, the two other two guys that are, you know, in that market. And it was just so fun. So just like you said, you know, there's always something going on, and, you know, outside of the main event in February with all 50 of the guys. There's always something every couple of weeks where, you know, somebody will, will host something and get together. And they're just kind of like little breakaways, you know, and they could be anywhere from three people to maybe 15 people, give or take. But uh, love, love that group. Very, very cool. Yeah. So I think it's important as entrepreneurs, you can get really stuck in your own box. Oh, really, man. really, really stuck. Really stuck. Like you said, measuring yourself by other people and not feeling like you're, you know, we really shouldn't measure ourselves by anybody else. We should just be competing with ourselves every with ourself. month, every year. Yeah. And, it's, and that's, a, that's, a, all, that's a hard thing to do, man. It's easier do said it. than done. We all it's easier. Do it. Yeah, absolutely. Easier said than done. But, you know, I think, yeah, one of the things that, you know, that I really took away with was like, again, some of these guys in the group that I'm just thinking are like just beasts in the business and they are by all means, but it's like, you know, not everything goes to plan all the time and shit happens and that's totally normal. And yeah, I think we said it really early on in this episode, but you know, we're either getting ready to enter a crisis or in one currently, or we're starting to come out of one. It's, it's always one of those three, you know? So very, yeah, very, I, very cool. It's kind of a sad statement, but you can't deny it. That's you the can't way deny it, it. Yeah, you know, it's if, just, if, yeah, stuff happens, man. It's crazy. If, if, if you're running smooth right now, just wait around a little while. Things will start to break. You know, it's the nature of the world. You, you can't really help it. So that's the task that we have at hand is to mitigate the throws of life that happen. That's week right. By week, month by month, year by year. 